Back with some more PvP playing Tempest on the defending side. I must say this class is insanely powerful right now. I have been fighting players with higher resonance and making them run away. So we shall see how this game will go. Couple of tempers in this game, gonna try and attack these players, make them go away. Alright, that is a necromancer. Never mind, I was seeing who is on the bottom. We are defending this, so let's heal up. Two players on the left coming from the mid. Tempers, maybe. Uh, this player is what? Necromancer. 340 something thousand HP, so he must maybe 5k resonance, maybe 340k HP. And uh, all right, the idol is down. I'm gonna try and fight them my way back to the idols. We have another necro here with 3k H H HP. And who do we have here? A wizard. Let's see. A wizard. Uh, okay. This is getting bad. Another, uh, okay, wizard is on the side. I have some players with me as well, so won't be all that bad. Uh, let's see this wizard jumping around. And there we go, wizard is down. So, uh, heal up will go to the idol. And they're fighting few players. And uh, we have another wizard. Let's go. Five kills in. Like, this class is assassin in my opinion. By the way, the bills will be at the end of the video. Like a quick look. Oh no, not looking good. This player is like, what is, how strong is this guy? Print catch me, maybe a lot of vulnerabilities. I need to. Uh, escape. I need to escape. Can I escape? Can I escape? I don't have any HP on me. I'm not sure if my cheat that was active or not. I'm not sure about the survivor either. Uh, we're gonna try and get the necro. He is running away. Maybe my poison or something on him. We shall see. And two players died. Okay, so my poison and other gems were on them. Okay, this game is a bit too easy in my opinion right now. We're just walking all over them. Walking the park. Who do we have? This is a barbarian pulling me. Almost 10 kills. And we get 10 kills or run away. With half HP. Alright, end up getting the kill from a damage over time gems. I'll take that. And uh, let's see. So far in a good rhythm, I would say. And I have primary attack speed increase, critical hit chance increase from the Paragon skills. So that is also helping me. So as long as I can keep those bonuses up, I am going to be really strong. 15% attack speed increase, uh, critical hit chance increase, taking less damage, cheat that, all good stuff. So, alright, two more down. Okay, wizard with the disintegrate. Three down, more 13 kills in. Not sure if I should go left or just stay on the right side. A lot of dashes. Experiencing some lag here and there now, I feel like, but let's keep fighting. A uh, necromancer, uh, okay, dead, 15 kills. So far, so good. I'm like in a really good rhythm here right now. Okay, who do we have here? Another necro, dead. 340,000 HP, this guy. Oh my goodness, he took all of. My HP where he's the highest one on the other side and uh, was going to pick that HP orb up and uh, not so good. I might die here. 
this guy is going in the same direction as me and end up killing me okay so that was the first start from an acromancer who may be chasing me or was going there in the same direction to survive but we're gonna win this game easy uh now i, I lost the stacks of critical hit jones and no oh, let's get this necromancer no nope, but uh they all have the cheat that what the freaking heck happening they all have the cheat that uh, run away run away run away run away and we uh dang it so many players here and the rubber banding like and uh okay so i got one kill and then died to the wizard but like two of them had the cheat that that messed up okay let's see how it will go i'm gonna rush in again let's see rushing rushing teleport stun attack okay the dead i need to get some stacks i'm gonna try and get some stacks and three versus one and he has the cheat that another necro is hitting me i'm gonna die again yeah not going all that great oh my goodness he died when i died so maybe i have one stack in that we'll see two quick deaths not going great lost the rhythm need to get back in that rhythm i was in before not dying but had some stacks too okay let's chase this guy with 300 get me he just running away like what okay he just ran away not sure what he doing don't want to fight uh, okay where is it I want to chase down the wizard, like, come here, wizard, wizard died, like, this is a bit too easy game, guys, and we'll see who we fought at the end, though, don't think they were all that high, maybe one play with 340 KHP and everyone else just simple, easy, low res. But yeah, most likely we'll leave my last game as a Tempest. I uh, will be switching back to Wizard. Don't want to just keep making Tempest content. I'm done with most of the stuff. I believe so. PvE Dungeon. P uh, sorry, I'm like playing and like talking, not working. Okay, so I got the Necro again. But yeah, I'm done with the Dungeon Speed Farming PvP content mostly. I mastered the class, so time to go back to visit five kills in let's go let's go let's see who we fought here quickly and then i'll share the build towards the end 23 3 got the mvp uh this was uh this player 4.2k uh, same as me and then another one 5.7 might be the highest one and then they had 2.7k and uh 3.1 Okay. all right we'll see you guys towards the end for the build now so yeah if you guys are interested let's dive into the build all right let's quickly dive into the build that i was using wind edge scroll flowing strike breaker cross wind paragon these were the skills i was using cheat dead grizzled veteran hold formation overpower and then swift strike these are the paragon skills for the set pieces i was using four piece vetoes and then i had two piece of banquet equipped which i want to remove i want to go with four piece gloom guide but still don't have that so i would advise going with four piece gloom guide prize and uh, then going with four piece vetoes for maximum amount of damage survivability is there if you can get the eternal gear that gives you the shield every time you use the flowing strike so i would suggest getting shield from the eternal gear and going for the maximum amount of damage from these set pieces and these are the essences that we are using for the build scroll now mark enemies and the chest is going to stun enemies, give you a dash with the 
exploring strike really powerful shoulder is to get immune using flowing strike important again pence is for the dash breaker gives you some more shield and the main hand the first one is the uh, 40 crosswind critical heads will do a bit more damage and then the next one the main hand is for the scroll making you untargetable really good for the next off hand or the first off hand it is for the wind edge it will empower your primary attack every time you use skill it will work with the dashes and do some more damage with the primary and then the last one the second off hand is for the cross wind so these are all the stuff that we are using Hopefully it will be helpful. I'm signing off. See you all in the next one. Later guys.